Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts and this is Daily Motivational Project Frantic Scrapbook Friday. Um, I'm going to be scrapbooking just a one-page layout and using a variety, a variety of different kinds of um, die cuts and some embellishments. Not too many embellishments. Again, um, you know, it's my husband's birthday pictures from last year so I don't feel like I need to put a whole lot of uh, buttons and things like that on it so although that that does look cute sometimes all right so to get started I'm using some chevron this is like a pale orange um, this is real what I call scrapbook paper because it's very very thin and this was in a um, paper pack that I had bought years ago um, that I had torn out so I'm not really sure where I got it Now I tried several different ways on putting these uh, pictures on this page, but I ended up going back to one of the methods that I always seem to go back to, and that's just having the pictures right down the middle, and then the embellishments being up here and up here. Um, the first thing I want to do is put down the middle, and then um, I actually forgot to put this on. That was probably the first thing I should have done. But I'm going to try and lift up that edge there. Um, this is Stampin' Up! paper, and... Yep, I'm going to put it on this side here. Now, with my scrapbook layouts, I'm not real picky about making sure that the glue is on, you know, every single little nook and cranny. Oh, let me show you what this was. Um, this is a Sizzix die. Now, um, I got this on sale for like $4. Um, some scrapbooking thing that I went to, but this doesn't run through the Big Shot, and the Big Shot is the only die cut machine, but I tricked it. And what I did was I put the acrylic layer down onto the Big Shot, then I put the die on top of the acrylic, and then I put the paper on, and then I, I put some um, wax paper as well, but then I put an acrylic, another of the acrylic um, panel over that. So, and I kind of had to give it a little shove to get through it, um, but it worked. And I didn't even think about that. I thought that the Big Shot did actually um, accommodate the Sizzix die. So I won't be doing that again. I guess I could now that I figured it out, right? So I'm going to put this right down here in the corner. Oh, actually, I think I do like it on top. All right, we'll put it on top then. That makes it easier. And, um, you know, basically what I did was I cut it out and then I cut it in half. And I chose these colors mostly because, um, and, and this is what I do often, is I, I try to pick colors that go with the colors that are in the pictures. good. Alright, so I think the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put my ribbon on. Now this is just a ribbon scrap. Um, I have no idea the name brand or anything. Sorry about that. And I'm going to put that just like this. I tend to use square tape with my ribbon. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. You guys are probably looking at my t-shirt saying, what the heck is that lady wearing? This is like an old scruffy t-shirt. One of those casual Fridays. All right, let me get me. It's even got a hole in the sleeve. <laughs> All right, so that's part of it. Now, this is a die cut from, get it out here, Diversions, and it says celebrate it. The paper is um, some glitter paper that I had in my stash. 
and um, typically with these kind of dies you have to have a shim but because this paper was thick glitter paper I did not have to have a shim and it actually cut out pretty well I'm just noticing a couple little pieces I missed I'll put that right up there okay now the next thing I did was I used this Dynamics um, uppercase lowercase um, alphabet and this is what it looks like and I used wax paper on that as well so it cut out more intricately and on here I'm going to put your day celebrate your day oops and I'm going to start on this end here and go backwards I hope you all uh, have a wonderful weekend. Um, the design team that I'm on for Cards TV is having a block hop on Saturday. If you're not doing anything, it's cardstv.blogspot.com. Stop on by, take a look. She's got some new stamp sets out that um, are so cute, and they're perfect for their, you know perfect for the season the seasons that are coming up too this is the time-consuming part glue and everything on Okay, and then I got um, this, I, you know, I take the packages off of things and then I don't know where I get it from, but these are the, I'm going to say they look like Can Company, and I'm going to use this arrow right here. Just as another embellishment. And put that right there. So it's kind of drawing attention to the, the title. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our pictures on. Now, I used a die cut. Um, let's see if I can find my mat. Yep, here it is. They are index tab die cuts. And you know what? I th think they're spell binders. I will check, and then when I put the information on the blog, I'll have that for you. So I'm going to lay these. I'll just use my... Isn't that cute? And I did get this at a local scrapbooking store, but I know they're still available. So, all right, I'm going to do my pictures again here. So that's going to be my mat. So I'm going to put this, I actually wanted to put this behind here, but I don't think I can do that now. Oh, it's going to kind of rip the paper. Okay, so never mind. I'll put that right there. Okay, let's put that picture on. is just um, oh probably like recollections paper and I'm not gonna put it all the way I'm just gonna put it about right there oh crooked funny I had this all laid out and knew exactly what I wanted to do but now I'm all putting things differently Go back and forth with my glue and my tape and my glue and my tape. That's that.
Now I didn't intentionally cut this so that it was um, scruffy. It's the paper and um, the blade on the Stampin' Up! trimmer. It's this paper. It doesn't matter what trimmer I use. <laughs> it just doesn't cut clean, but I kind of like it. It's different. Okay, I'll put this on. I'm going to make sure I get that even. Oops, upside down. Hence the reason why I, if that dog barks, I swear I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go crazy. I'm not going to put this one down yet. Because I'm going to put this one on the edge to make sure that I got it all even. I tend to um, do that and then I put the middle one picture in and then it, it doesn't turn out right. So. edge but enough that I can get it inside the insert. I'm not going to push down on that yet because I know I'm going to want to do some adjusting. Check my time. 11 minutes and 45 seconds. Alright, I think I can do it. Whoops. I made a commitment. Now, um, if you've ever seen me um, do my videos on my layouts where I'm doing birthdays, a quick explanation is I always, always put toilet paper across to whoever's birthday, um, their bedroom door, so that when they wake up, they have to break through the toilet paper. Yep. You know, like they're running through a, uh, a football banner or something because they're so special. It's their special day. And I went ahead and just matted that little photo right there. I really didn't have any other place to put it. So, all right. So I had a glitch with my silhouette yesterday and I went into panic mode. Um, I actually was trying to do a print and cut with this image here. And I gave up because it was not working. My mat was not loading correctly, but I got it fixed. Anyway, I fussy cut this. I cut this out by myself and I was just going to put it right here. But then I talked to the silhouette people this morning and they, I had it on the wrong loading media. So um, this is how it's supposed to cut out. But I didn't realize, um, you know, it was going to be open here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this on top of that. And I don't think that's the way you're supposed to do it. But I, I like it like that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I hear that um, Silhouette's having a design team call. Um, I'm not qualified to do that. I don't know enough about the Silhouette to do something like that. But um, it'll be interesting to see some of the projects that people do. Because I know there's... I just got my Silhouette, so I don't, I don't have the expertise. But all right, so I have some letters here that I cut out. And... Looking at my time, it's 13 minutes, so I have fun times. And I use that same little um, dynamics. My... I'm just trying to rush through this so I don't have to do a voiceover or editing or anything. So I may just lay it out for you. And I have a 54 here that I'm going to put right here. And then these are little exclamation marks that one flipped over here, so I'll find it. Or quotations, not exclamation. Goodness, I need to go back to school, don't I? So that's going to go like that, and then when I find the other one that flipped over here, I can put that there. But that's that's the layout. So um, let me lift it up a little bit. There's some glare. 
Um, I do like the doily. Um, I love this shimmery paper, the glitter paper. Oh, and right here, I'm going to be using my um, basic gray letters. And on these index tabs right here, I'm going to put make a wish. So I'm out of time, um, but check out my blog and I'll have it on there um, by this afternoon. It's um, about 1030 on Friday, the 14th of March. All right. Great. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.